United States Space Force. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. If this is your first time with us, our voices are disguised so we can give you information on just about anything without being detected. Today's video is going to be discussing the United States Space Force. We're going to be going over their formation and structure, what they do, what they're going to do, and who they are. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. The United States Space Force, originally formed as the Air Force Space Command, is the Space Warfare Service Branch of the United States Military. It was established as an independent military branch on December 20th, 2019, with the signing of the United States Space Force Act, making it the sixth branch of the United States military. The U.S. Space Force is organized as a military service branch within the Department of the Air Force, and is headed by the Secretary of the Air Force, similar to how the Marine Corps operates under the Department of the Navy. It contains the smallest amount of personnel out of all of the armed services within the United States Department of Defense. The U.S. Space Force's mission is a military service that organizes, trains, and equips space forces in order to protect U.S. and allied interests in space and to provide space capabilities to the joint force. USSF responsibilities will include developing military space professionals, acquiring military space systems, maturing the military doctrine for space power, and organizing space forces to present to our combatant commands. All of Air Force Space Command's former personnel, organizations, and components were assigned to the Space Force upon its creation. The Space Force also plans to stand up a Space Systems Command and a Space Training and Readiness Command. A Space Systems Command is intended to centralize Space Force launch, procurement, research, and development activities, while a Space Training and Readiness Command is intended to grow a cadre of space professionals and be comprised of Space Force centers focused on training, readiness, and doctrine. The structure of the Space Force is as follows. It contains the Space Operations Command, the 30th Space Wing, and the 614th Air Operations Center, which are all out of Vandenberg Air Force Base, California, the 21st Space Wing, which is out of Peterson Air Force Base, Colorado, the 45th Space Wing, which is out of Patrick Air Force Base, Florida, the 50th Space Wing, which is out of Shriver Air Force Base, Colorado, the 460th Space Wing, which is out of Buckley Air Force Base, Colorado, the Space and Missile Systems Center, and the 61st Air Base Group, which are both out of Los Angeles Air Force Base, California. The Department of the Air Force is reviewing Air Force installations which will be designed as U.S. Space Force bases. There's even a show out on Netflix about Space Force. It's a comedy series that is about them setting up the branch. But back to the real stuff. As of right now, there are 17 careers available in the Space Force. Five of them are for officers, and 12 of them are enlisted. They are as follows. For officers, you can be a Cyberspace Operations Officer, Space Operations Officer, Acquisition Manager Officer, Intelligence Officer, and a Developmental Engineer Officer. For enlisted, you can be Space Systems Operations, Cyber Systems Operations, Knowledge Operations Management, Cyber Surety, Cyber Transport Systems, Cable and Antenna Systems, Fusion Analyst, Targeting Analyst, Client Systems, Signals Intelligence Analyst, Radio Frequency Transmission Systems, and Computer Systems Programming. If you want to see a separate video that discusses the individual careers of the Space Force, let us know in the comments section below. As of the date when we made this video, the Space Force currently utilizes the Air Force's uniforms and rank structure. The OCP uniform is its combat utility uniform. Those are both subject to change, of course. Well, that is the down and dirty of the United States Space Force. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. What would you like to see next? All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge, and you don't even want to be here.